The neck block on this 1930s K Deluxe was loose for years from the top. The neck was on and it was under string tension and it forced that block towards the sound hole. It remained glued down here, but up here it was caved in. It broke the binding. It warped and crushed the plastic. Some of the wood binding, it's maple and ebony, or it's a lighter wood colored to look like that, had fallen out and been lost. And I'm about to make some pieces to put in it and replace it. The problem I had with this guitar and the binding work is that it's not a standard size wood binding. Back in the 1930s, they had 50 thousandths maple and about 38 thousandths ebony. What I can buy off the shelf is 80 thousandths thick. So I made my own binding and brought it down to size using my drill press and a drum sanding setup. This drum sanding rig is adjustable. The fence moves in and out, so it doesn't take long to come down from 80 thousandths to 40. You gotta measure along the way and maybe you'll adjust it three or four times. What I do is run the strip in and then ride it up and down along the fence. So I'm covering the whole length of that drum. If there's any irregularity in the turning of that drum, it balances out because you cover the whole piece. To prep this area for the new binding, I had a few things to do first. I had all the old glue from the factory, my glue squeeze out, and it was hide glue. So I cleaned it with de-glue goo. It's got acetic acid in it, and I applied that with a little toothpick. It's like stripper for glue, and I laid it on thick, gave it 20 minutes, 10 minutes, and come in with a little micro chisel and I scraped it cleanly. I don't want to mess with the wood channel. I've left that alone so far. After that, I come in with some TSP mixed with hot water. That neutralizes the uh, acetic acid so it won't stay there forever and make that joint come loose later. And I applied that with a little cotton swab, several applications, and then I went in with a damp rag, clean water, and clean that and let it dry. At that point I was ready to come into the channels and clean them out. My biggest tool was a micro chisel that I ground really skinny on the belt sander and grinder so I could get in between the binding layers. I'm sticking my binding in in stepped layers. That way it, the binding holds it in. This black is inside the white on both edges. There's always a little overlap on every joint so it doesn't just fall out. I didn't try to take much wood off. I tried to leave it original. There's a little bit of glue left here. The ends of my pieces sort of overlap. That kind of helps hold them in. Later on, I'm gonna hold them in with some tape. That's what I have. Now what I want to do is tape this in place and file it down a little shorter so it's closer to the size. Then when I tape it in place with glue it won't fall over because it's so tall and the tape will bend it forward. I won't go all the way down but I'll just take it close. Before I do that I'm going to lay out some transferite sign painters tape on the finish because I can't tape on this. It'll pull the finish off. Some pieces of binding are taller than others, and I've got it taped in place dry using binding tape. And I'll use a number 11 blade or a chisel, some tooth files, and bring the wood down closer to the surface for the final glue up. This came out better than I expected even. It's not perfect, but uh, it's really good enough. I'm done with my filing and scraping and sanding and it's ready for a little bit of touch up. Up till now what I did was glued all my strips in with hot high glue. Painting them very carefully into the channels. Put a piece in then I'd paint the face of that piece so each layer would have glue to adhere to. Right now it's too white. The wood's too white and so is the plastic and I'm going to send it out to my friend Elliot's shop for a little touch up. He's got a great spray set up there and he's a real good touch up man. Our touch-up is going to be more about delivering a little color and a little bit of shine to this area. It's not really about building much of a finish. 
I think a light coat of shellac with a little amber color in it will do the trick. Uh, it shouldn't take more than a couple hours to take care of this.